So destination therapy is considered for patients who are generally age 65 or more or have other contraindications to transplantation. They want to be active. They have reasonable renal function. Generally speaking, the ejection fraction is less than 25%. And generally speaking, the heart size is greater than 65 millimeters left ventricular end diastolic dimension. And they're clearly symptomatic with New York Heart Association class 3 to 4 heart failure. Um, peak VO2 less than 12 to 14, and a limited six-minute walk distance despite optimal medical therapy. And the key is to try and recognize these failing patients before they present in a moribund state with uh, morbidities and end organ complications from their heart failure. Then we're in a difficult position because we know that the outcome is not going to be so good. When we look at survival of left ventricular assist device therapy recipients, this is data on the left from the published data from the New England Journal 2007. And then data on the right is our Mayo Clinic survival data for bridge to transplant patients. So generally speaking, over a one and a half um, year period, we have a greater than 80% survival um, compared to the um, national figures, which are 12 month survival of about 70%. And then destination therapy, we have published data on the left and then the Mayo Clinic data on the right. And we can see that uh, we have a pretty comparable, um, if not better, three-year survival compared to the two-year survival on the, um, on the left. So once we decide that um, LVAD therapy is indicated, there's a whole variety of uh, tests and procedures which we think about, and the whole team, in particular, the LVAD coordinators, start to get involved. And with that, I'm going to hand over to my colleague, Sarah Shettle, who's going to discuss further the next few slides. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kushwaha. When we think about whether the LVAD is indicated, um, there are certain criteria, as Dr. Kushwaha has previously mentioned, that are important for us to consider um, to ensure that the patient will have appropriate insurance coverage for their device. The ejection fraction for a DT patient must be less than 25%. In addition, they must be New York Heart Association Class 3B or 4. They must have failed optimal medical management for 45 of the last 60 days. And we often see or hear of phone calls from referring centers when their patients have these warning signs, frequent hospitalizations, intolerant um, to medications, requiring hospitalizations for IV diuresis or requiring additional diuresis at home uh, when their VO2 has fallen and they become symptomatic and are unable to perhaps walk as far as they previously had, and when their echo or catheterization parameters um, become concerning. Contraindications for LVAD therapy are as follows. The age of greater than 75 is a relative contraindication, as we certainly have implanted some patients um, that have very few comorbidities with a slightly higher age. The oldest patient that we have implanted thus far at our center uh, was implanted at the age of 82 and was just seen in clinic this last week and is doing very well. The BMI of greater than 35 is also a relative contraindication as um, elevated BMIs can, can increase the risk of infection after LVAD um, and can be challenging to allow this patient to rehab um, after the cyst device is placed. We also try to um, correct people's creatinine um, beforehand, but if their kidney disease is such that it requires dialysis, they may not be a good candidate for an LVAD. In addition, we don't want to implant patients with severe lung disease GI disease or active cancers. If the cancer has been in remission for several years, we do consider these patients occasionally for left ventricular assist devices. We also would not want to implant someone who has a contraindication to anticoagulation as all of our patients are on warfarin and often aspirin in addition. We also would look for other comorbidities such as strokes or peripheral vascular disease in our consideration.